Okay, so in this problem, we're taking the quotient of two numbers in scientific notation. And this is not as difficult to do as you might, you might be thinking. Because what we're saying here is take the quotient of these two numbers. That means we can set them up in a fraction, right? Where 9.2 times 10 to the 6th is over 2.3 times 10 squared. We're dividing these two. That, that's the nature of a fraction. And what's so nice about these numbers, and we won't talk about it too much here, but we will in other videos, is that you can essentially regroup them using the associative property, viewing them this way. So that what you're really doing is 9.2 divided by 2.3 in one part, and then 10 to the sixth over 10 squared in another part. And multiplication is the operation that brings them together. So if we take 2.3 and multiply that by 4, that would give us 9.2. And if you need a quick way of thinking about that, take 2.3 and split it up into 2 and 0.3. Because when you multiply 2.3, 3 by 4, you multiply both 2 and 0.3 by 4. It's a little bit easier to think about. So 2 times 4 is 8. 0.3 times 4 is 1.2. Think of 3 times 4. Looks a lot like 12, right? But 10 times smaller. Add these together and we get 9.2, our answer. So that means when we divide these two numbers, we'll get 4. And then here, since you're... Oh, I wrote this wrong. Two, 2. You divide these two, you're going to subtract the exponents. It's 10 to the 4th. And the reason why, if you think about it, Let's look at an example here, right? We have 10 to the 6th. That means multiply out 6 tenths, one more, over, well, over 2 tenths. Well, if we regroup these, it's like subtracting, that's what we did here, this pair out. So we subtract 2 tenths out from the total because when we divide them, this is essentially what? Well, this is 100, 10 times 10 over 100. That cancels out. So it's like subtracting. Canceling out in, in multiplication division leads you and gives you the number one because that number will not change your result. So the resulting answer is the product of the remaining tenths or ten to the fourth. So you can just think of that as subtracting out equal pairs. And that's one of the major laws of exponents. All right, so the answer there is four. Thanks.